All right, guys, uh, building this boat out for surfing, one of the most important things we always tackle is adding fresh air exhaust to ensure that nobody uh, gets sick from carbon monoxide poisoning, making sure uh, it's safe to surf behind this boat. Fresh air exhaust requires uh, several different measurements that we need to take to ensure that they send us uh, something that's going to fit the boat. So we're gonna go ahead and take all the measurements. We're also gonna replace the fiberglass muffler in this boat with uh, stainless straight pipes. Um, just to ensure that for the long term this boat won't have any issues with anything those tend to leak over time and it also gives us a lot of room in the engine compartment to add uh, through hulls or ballast pumps or anything like that taking that big black box out of there and upgrading it with uh, stainless pipes adds a lot of room so we're going to go ahead and take the measurements needed to uh, get the fresh air exhaust ordered we'll get that ordered and uh, We'll wait for that to come in. Generally takes somewhere to in the five to ten day range to get that made and sent out. They custom make them per you know boat, and um, once that comes in, we'll throw it on. Alright, so for the fresh air exhaust mufflers, basically take this big black hunk of thing out of here and then we just have straight pipes that go from the, the manifolds here, they hook up into these um, hoses and then they go right down to here. So you just have like a stainless steel pipe that just goes right here and then all the center section area is removed and clear. The impeller's right here, so that gives us easy access to the impeller for impeller changes as well in the future. So it'll make it a lot easier and way more room here and just a much cleaner look. So we just need to take a couple measurements here, you get it, take some pictures again, get it off to fresh air exhaust, and we should be good. All right, we had to loosen the uh, hoses around each piece of this and then use a rubber mallet to kind of pop it out. You can see the antifreeze draining out of it from winterizing it this year. We're gonna take the measurements needed for fresh air exhaust and get it over to them. And we'll get these replaced with uh, stainless mufflers. So for fresh air exhaust to be able to make this, they need the diameter of these, both the engine side and stern side, as well as the offset between them. So this is, in this case it's four inches. And then they also need the height of this. This one's four inches in this case, and this one's three and a half. Once you get those measurements, you can set them off and uh, they'll get you stainless mufflers to replace it. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be installing the fresh air exhaust on our 2005 Supra. I've got it all laid out here as you can see. Um, we also have our stainless steel mufflers that we'll be putting in on the engine side. Uh, this is going to be a through haul fresh air exhaust installation, so it's a little bit different than our other videos. We will be completely removing the old exhaust system uh, and putting this one into that spot along with uh, sealing it up to the hull. So in order to do that, we're going to need a couple things. First of all, you're going to need your adhesive solvent. So I've just got some goo off here. Uh, they do recommend using D-Bond, but we didn't have access to that at the moment, and this should work just as well. Uh, you will need your 3M5200 marine sealant. Uh, ours is on the way. It'll be here later today by the time we get to that step, and I'll show it then in the video, but it's pretty standard for marine sealant. You will also need some wood blocks to wedge in between the old exhaust when we're pulling it off to keep it going as we uh, remove the adhesive around the old exhaust. You'll need a rubber mallet, a screw gun, 
um, some big flathead screwdrivers to help with that old exhaust. So once you've got all of that, I'll walk you through the remainder of the steps in detail here. I just wanted to give you an overview of what we're going to be dealing with. Okay guys, we're going to start off by uh, removing the screws from the exhaust tips here. We're just going to use a screw gun to do that and that's going to be step one. Okay guys, so next we will be taping around the edges of the boat so that we don't do any damage while we uh, use our wedges to remove these exhaust tips. We're going to use adhesive remover and just put it along the edge and slowly work our wooden wedges into the tips. And they should pull out slowly but surely. <clears throat> One thing that you're going to want to make sure of while you're doing this is that everything on the inside of the exhaust tip is taken out and I had to remove the black hoses that were still attached to it. And I actually, once I did that, looks like I don't even need the adhesive remover. This is just came right out. Same with the other side. So that was easy. Uh, what we're going to do next is Take this tape off, clean up the area with rubbing alcohol and get it prepped for our new exhaust tips. All right, so even though we didn't have to use the goo off uh, to remove the exhaust tips, we are going to use it on the outside of this to clean it up because there is some latex there left over. So I'm just gonna use a paper towel and some goo off. Now that we have these holes cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next step, which is going to be fitting our exhaust. Typically, what you would do is use one of these templates and follow the instructions that come with uh, your boat for mounting this. This template doesn't work for our boat, so what we are going to do is just fit our exhaust into place, make sure it's level and where we want it, and then mark our holes that we're going to drill out with. We're going to use an 11 64ths bit to drill out the holes for our drywall screws here. You may have bolts that bolt all the way through. Uh, Fresh Air Exhaust sent us drywall screws. Also, when I'm fitting this into our boat, I'm going to use a Sharpie marker on the inside. And oh man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a Sharpie marker on the inside. Mark the depth of our transom on the back here so that way I know how much uh, 5200 3M adhesive we're going to use when we install this. We want to make sure to fill that up all the way. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and stick that exhaust in, mark it, and then we'll go ahead and drill out our holes where we mark uh, for the exhaust. And then we will put our adhesive on and screw it in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in. Step one is I'm going to mark the exhaust on the inside here. Just two simple lines. That should be enough. And then I'm going to hold this here and mark each of my drill holes. All right, so I got all those marked. As you can see on the exhaust, I've got our transom depth marked. So the next step will be to drill out those holes and then we'll put on our adhesive and drill, screw this in place. All right, so we've got our 11 64ths bit. We wanna make sure to use a bit that's smaller than the screws they sent us. This one is, cause we want those screws to grab on um, to the new area that they'll be going into. Um, you can double check. I mean, they sent us the correct size hardware, so I can clearly see that the teeth on these screws are longer than the bit. Just a bit. So we're going to go ahead and just drill those out all the way. Make sure to start in reverse. You don't want to chip the gel coat 
Once you're through the gel coat, you can put the drill back in forward. I am also going to go ahead and bevel out the edges of these holes just so that when we do screw things in here, we're not chipping any edges. Just a light bevel. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and clean this up once again so that we can get it ready to, for adhesive and uh, installation of the exhaust. All right, we got everything prepped here. We're gonna go ahead and start using our 5200 Marine sealant. Uh, we are basically gonna coat as much of the flange and this stuff as possible. You cannot use enough sealant, um, or too much, I should say. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get those drilled in. One thing to keep in mind when we do go to drill these in, is these screws come with washers and these washers are intended to be used as spacers so they will go directly against the boat and then it'll go the exhaust and then our screw on top of the exhaust so keep that all in mind while you're getting this prepped all right so i've got our 5200 here um i'm going to start applying it to our one side and then I'll move on to the next. As you can see, this is our line that we want to fill it up to and we are going to put on just a crap ton as much as possible. So I'm going to start doing that. I have my screw gun prepped and ready. I've got all my screws sitting on a table right here next to me with the washers that I'll stick through as well once uh, I get this on. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Now you might be thinking, holy smokes, that looks like a lot. That's because it is. We want as much as possible. All right. So I got that much on. I'm going to set this off to the side, put some of my washers down. Now that our exhaust has had seven days to cure with the 5200 uh, from 3M, we are gonna go ahead and move on to installing our stainless steel muffler, mufflers. They connect from our header exhaust port here down to where our exhaust comes through the hull. And in order to connect that, we have our elbow fitting that will sit like this going into this section and then there's a second piece of rubber fitting that'll go on the bottom of this and connect to our exhaust outlet in the base here. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by sliding this end into here and then tightening it down and then we'll get this end into our header here. So it's just gonna be a short little process then we'll tighten down all these bands and we will be finished up with this exhaust. All right, so we've got that pipe into there now. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide it into the other section.
after some reevaluation, I found it's going to be easiest if I put the rubber pieces on before we get this put in. Uh, this piece is really easy to slide onto the exhaust outlet. This piece on the header is difficult to slide into if it's on the header. So I took it off and I'm just going to slide our pipe in here and get it to the correct length that we need and then we'll slide it all back into place. All right, we've got enough space there now where it'll hook on with the V-bands. All right, so now we've got that piece on. Now we're just gonna slide this into place in the boat. So we're just gonna slip the exit outlet on. And then push this one down into place. So we got the top three tightened down and we're just gonna move on to our bottom flange and do the same thing. And then now all we have to do is tighten down our bottom fittings here. All right, so that finishes up this side for the install. We're gonna do the exact same process on the port side. Um, and I'll show you the finished side for that. So as you can see, it looks the exact same as our starboard side here. Same type of V-band situation. We just, I did the exact same process for both sides. Uh, that all connects up to our exhaust on the outside here. And that wraps up our fresh air exhaust install. Now that we're finished installing the exhaust and we know where everything's going to be, we're going to go ahead and move on to installing our ballast system next. So that's going to involve removing the old pumps and uh, plumbing and then installing some new through hauls for the larger pumps and getting all the new plumbing put in and switches. Thanks for watching. <laughs>